You can enhance the individual colours of a photo by first selecting the colour and then applying any of the enhance options on the info bar. This is great if you want to tweak the blue of a sky or the green of a patch of grass, for example. So here's our photo. Make sure you've got the Enhance Photo tool selected and then click on the Select Colours to Enhance button on the info bar. Now on the photo, click on the colour you want to enhance and you'll see a colour selection point appear. There will also be a short flash of a checkered pattern which will indicate the extent of the region you have selected. If you click on the little arrow button next to the Colour Enhance button, you will see the Tolerance and Fade slider controls that you can use to adjust the checkerboard selection. Basically, the Tolerance slider extends the range of the selected colour, and the Fade slider sets the extent to which they blend. Now you can use any of the Enhance features on the info bar to tweak the colour selection. I'm choosing the Photo Hue feature to change the colour of the sky, but you could choose any of the options on the info bar, such as brightness, contrast, saturation, and so on. If you want to change the selection, just click and hold one of the colour point control handles, and then drag out the selection. You can also drag the selection point to another area of the photo, and the region will change as you drag. You can also add more selection points if you like. This is sometimes more effective than using the fade and tolerance sliders. The selection points that are part of the active range are shown in red. So if you want to apply a different enhance to another part of the image, then deselect those current selection points by right-clicking on them and choosing Deselect, or press the Escape key once. They will turn black to indicate they're no longer selected. You can now start adding selection points to your new enhance area, and they will be red to indicate that they're part of the current selection. Also notice that when you right-click on one of the colour selection points, not only do you get the option to deselect the selection, of which that colour point is a member, but you also get the options to delete the entire selection or to delete that particular colour point.